At CES 2015, the smart home is talking to Siri. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. The 2015 Consumer Electronics Show continues on in Las Vegas, and one of the major themes of the show surrounds the next generation of smart home products. We're seeing the very first devices to use Apple's HomeKit platform, which means you can talk to Siri to control home appliances. One gadget to do that is the iDevices switch. You just plug it into an outlet, then control the power to whatever gadget you plug into the switch. Also working with Siri is the Schlage Sense Lock. It's a deadbolt Bluetooth lock that senses when your phone is near, but it also has a keypad. It's due out this summer, and it could cost in the ballpark of $200 or $300. The idea is that when you have several products all working with Apple's HomeKit, you'll be able to just tell Siri a single phrase that will trigger several gadgets at once to lock up the house and turn off the lights. There are more products that talk to Google's Nest devices, like the Nest Smart Thermostat. For example, when a smart lock knows your home or away, it can change the thermostat automatically. We're also seeing new hybrids. Cameras are merging with lights. The Sengle Snap includes a small camera on the light, along with a speaker and a microphone. So when someone approaches your home, the light goes on and you can see a video feed of who's at the door. It also has facial recognition software. The Chamberlain Notify bundles a light bulb camera and doorbell together. It's easy to install because the light bulb also powers the camera from the light socket. The doorbell part needs a battery and it talks to your home Wi-Fi network. No details yet on pricing. Chamberlain also has a smart garage door opener called the MyQ for $130, which will also work with Apple Siri. The Parrot H2O plant sensor can keep your plants hydrated for you. It monitors moisture levels, fertilizer, sunlight, and temperature near your plant. You just hook up a water bottle on top and it can even water it for you. This year, washing machines are stealing a little bit of the attention at CES, believe it or not. Samsung's Active Wash puts a sink on the top of the main washing machine bin so you can pre-treat or hand wash delicates. LG took it a step further and put a washing machine in a washing machine. The LG Twin Wash system lets you do two loads at the same time with a smaller washer drawer on the bottom for your dainties. The drums don't share water, and if you don't want the whole system, the smaller bottom washer can actually be bought separately and it'll attach to a few other models. There's loads more news. See what I did there? And you can keep up with the latest at CES.CNET.com where you can watch our live stream of show coverage from the CNET stage. Reporting from the Las Vegas Convention Center, I'm Bridget Carey.